It's the focus of a massive global health campaign, and it seems the drive to combat malaria is paying dividends. Giving out mosquito nets has helped. The World Health Organization says deaths from the disease are down by a third since the year 2000. But progress in parts of Africa remains slow, with malaria still killing one child there every minute. And in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the problem is particularly persistent. From there, our Africa correspondent, Andrew Harding, sent this report. A scramble, not for food, but for nets. Cheap, simple mosquito nets. They've emerged as the key weapon in a giant global campaign to eradicate malaria. Here in Democratic Republic of Congo, the disease remains the number one killer. So, are the nets making a difference? The main problem, says Dr. Lushombo, is getting enough nets to enough people and teaching them to use them properly. In some places, they use them for fishing instead. There's no doubt that nets do work. After a big distribution in this neighborhood, reported cases of malaria dropped by more than a third. But nets alone are not going to win the war against the disease. That's because Congo is a hard place to help. For decades, it's been tormented by conflict and chaos. It still is. Today, the overall number of malaria cases doesn't seem to be dropping here unlike in other parts of Africa. Malaria kills more than 2,000 kids a day. The global mosquito net campaign has gathered huge momentum, but in Congo, critics say there's too much focus on the nets and not enough on tackling the poverty, insecurity and the swamps that enable the disease to spread. It's not the only answer. It is a answer, but it's not the only answer. Sure, it will help if it would be used appropriately. Do you think there's too much focus on bed nets? Sometimes, yes. Malaria has already killed one of Mapendu Mwamini's babies. But today, for the first time in her life, she's been given a net to sleep under. I've lost one child, she says, so I know I must use the net to save my other children. But there are 12 of us in the house, and we only have one net between us. Congo badly needs more nets, then. But even that won't be enough to wipe out malaria for good. Andrew Harding, BBC News, Goma.